In September last year, we left Singapore to go on one of the most memorable trips of our lives. It was the first time my partner came to Europe, so I brought him to Paris. My hometown, Lyon. And Geneva from where we went to the Mont Blanc and after literally freezing at the Mont Blanc we took the plane from Switzerland and landed in Italy We then went to visit Rome and Florence and it was in Florence that, after a day full of exploration and good food, we went to the Piazza del Michelangelo and officialized our engagement. It was such a movie-like moment, which will make for the perfect memory. We officially got engaged and told our families, but we had a few months ahead of us before the marriage would actually happen. Once we got back to Singapore after our trip, to Europe, we literally had three days left before moving out of the country to go to Japan and start our new lives. And because we had been stranded out of Japan for three years because of the virus, we enjoyed every last minute of it for six months. Even though we started the process in March this year, 2023, we were only able to get married in June. So all in all, almost four months of preparation for this marriage. And the reason it took that long was purely because it was an international marriage. So most of the time was actually spent waiting around. Here's how it went. In Japan, marriage registration is done in person at the district office of your residing area, the Koyakusho. So we went there first to collect information on which documentation we needed to get married. They gave us a list of documents and once we had that we started on the process of getting these documents one by one. Now the trick is that since it's an international marriage my own documents needed to come from my home country, France, which took some back and forth with the French embassy. I needed to get my birth certificate in original from the city I was born in in France and a marriage capacity certificate. The birth certificate wasn't an issue to get and I got it by post under two weeks after making the request online. However, getting my certificate for marriage capacity was another story. For that, my fiancé had to get his family register, his Koseki Tohong, authenticated by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Japan, Gai Musho. Then I had to get a certified translation of it in French. Then, after filling out some forms, I had to send all of that in original to the French embassy, which in turn sent it to France directly. So all in all, it took around four weeks for me to receive this one single document, my marriage capacity certificate, by which time I thought, okay, can go now. But when we got to the Kuyak show again, it turned out I was missing another original of my birth certificate. Such a miss on my part. Because getting my marriage certificate required me to give a birth certificate, I didn't think I needed to give another birth certificate to the Kuyak show when we get married. So I had to get another one. And it took two more weeks. So mental note for you guys, if you ever get married in this kind of setting, always get the original documents and certificates in two or three copies. Anyway, once I got all of that, I had to translate whatever was not translated to Japanese from French to Japanese, so I translated my birth certificate, my marriage capacity certificate and my passport copy 
And after this whole preparation, it was finally time for us to go and get married. So this is what the official marriage registration paper looks like. It's the one from Fukuoka, so it has the Fukuoka city logo. We'll write uh, today's date later and our names. And inside, here's what it looks like. So basically this is the information sheet on how you should fill out uh, the form. So it will look like this, of course. It's fully in Japanese, so this is the site for the people getting married. Uh, all, of, all of their information, their uh, parents' names, and where they will live. And then here you'll have the witnesses side, so you, you need to have the, the names and the signatures of two witnesses. Uh, and then this will be filled out by the marriage officer. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's it. That's the marriage registration paper. Getting married in Japan is not spectacular at all. Unless you do your own wedding celebration on the side with your family and friends, there is no specific celebration. Actual marriage registration is a simple signature in front of the civil officer and the kyakusho. And that's it. <laughs> So yeah, as long as you have the right paperwork, you can get married in less than an hour in Japan. We won't be doing any big day celebration ourselves. We already had a family gathering a few months back and it was amazing. So that's it guys, that's the story of how we got married in Japan. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you learned something and here's to many more adventures ahead. <laughs>